This video shows how to use the item number 640 door mounting kit for the CG1500. So, often you may use the side over here, the inside base, to mount controllers to. But there's an entire section over on the other side that allows you to use it for also mounting things like power supplies. So, here we have one of our standard 350 watt power supplies, and this can be mounted to this adapter board. So let's just go ahead and show you how to do that. Now, uh, of course, the outline's there. Uh, everything is set up. You just take the nylon screws. These are nylon so that they will not short out. You can see that there are four holes that correspond with those. So all we have to do is locate the first hole. I'm just gonna do that by finding that and then there give it a little screw in whoops screw in there okay and then I just take the others now that that first hole is located you can see that that's fairly easy after you have get the first one located alright so you would go ahead and of course do that for all four holes so, what we're going to do is just now drop this in, and there are four screw holes here on the base of the uh, door, and you'll use the included self-tapping stainless screws. Again, locating the hole. You just need to find one of the holes, and put a screw in here. Whoops. and then the others will automatically line up. Uh, this is all built and cut on a, a computer controlled machine, so they're all very accurate. This is not hand done. Oops. And once it's completed here, uh, we'll show you how it's held in here. Alright, so there you go, and as you can see here, it holds in just fine, and it only uses up a little over half the depth of the front case. So you still have plenty of room in the case along with enough airflow to sufficiently one most controllers and a single power supply.